I was just checking. Good morning, everyone. How are you today? Are you good? Uh, for all of those who have just given up daylight saving, what did you do with your one hour off this morning? Did you, uh, did you make the most of it? Did you go for a big long walk? Did you get up and prepare dinner early? What did you do? Something exciting? <sighs> you know what I was doing, don't you? Cutting kits. Cutting kits. That's what I was doing. But it was all good fun. Uh, and I had to, I had to get one of the Be Mindful quilt kits done so I can show it to you this morning. So that's what I've been doing. All right, who's in the building? Who's up? Or have you left your clocks? Have you done what my dad does? You don't change clocks yet. You change your clocks when you need that hour. Well, I actually feel like I've been missing that hour since we switched to daylight saving. So I, I kind of feel like I caught up. I don't know. Good morning, Kathy and Yvonne and Merle. Hello to you. Hello, Kay. Michelle Longhurst. This is Rumper Room, isn't it? Elaine, Christine and Debbie are here this morning. Good morning, Deb. Nancy Cook, you are absolutely right. It is a cold grey morning, but I've got the wool scarf on and the jumper on and it's kind of nice. I'm an autumn girl. I am an autumn girl. I'm done with that humidity we did here in Melbourne this year. Um, Yvonne, that's very nice of you. Thank you and good morning to you too from everyone. Morning, Barb. Uh, Wash, your wash, you did the washing, Nancy. Oh, got it, got to get it done. Got to make the most of that hour, even if you haven't changed the clocks yet. Do something for you. Melanie, good morning. Maggie's here too. Chris Otto's here. Bernadette's here. Good morning, good morning. Louise, hi. If you haven't changed your clocks back yet, you're still sitting in bed with a coffee, aren't you? I know what you're doing. I, I know, you'll all be there. Oh, Bob, you forgot. Oh, I knew that would happen. I knew that would happen. We're all back in sync, my friend. We're all in it together again now. And uh, I try to work out the difference it would make to every... Why am I so white? Oh, it's because I've got the... Let me just turn this round a bit towards the quilt. I am not in an interrogation room. Oh, that's a bit better. Um, I try to work it all out with, with Western Australia and everything. And I, I just gave up. I thought the girls will work it out they'll get it but um luckily our phones do change for us now don't they karen got up at six and went for a walk you get a brownie point all right time hasn't changed for us here in brizzy no but ours has nan so we're at a different time do you get what i mean you're always that you it's always the same in queensland it's us that changes good morning sally Uh, going early to pick up from Peter Mac. Jill, um, <laughs> I think I gave you a piece of fabric that was still on my website. <laughs> yeah, I might ring you later and see if you've still got it. For those that don't know, we do donate a lot of our ender bolts to Jill Cross's BJ Quilters for um, a lot of fundraising and making beautiful quilts, vasectomy bags and accessories and everything for everyone at Peter Mac. And uh, every now and then I get a bit carried away with what I put in the box going off to the team. I think I mucked one up. It's, it's no biggie. Oh, hello, Deb from Queensland. So don't have to muck around with our clocks. Thank goodness. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hello, Diana. It's not afternoon, Di. Well, it is where you are. Hi, hi, hi. And hello, Joe. All right, let's get started. There's too many of you here for early Sunday morning. So today is... Okay. It's full advertorial, all right? This is like shopping network stuff this morning. It really is because it's all about would you like to come on the journey with the Be Mindful quilt if you're not already on, on the journey. See, I've got, the, I've got the, the shopping channel eyebrows up already and I'm channeling um, a couple of mates in the UK that do the shopping channel. I can feel it even though I don't mean to do it. But what I thought I should do is a visual explanation of the Be Mindful Quilt Club, this gorgeous, gorgeous thing on the wall by Michelle Hill, because we already have a beautiful group of ladies that started this quilt last year and they are up to, they've just done month, they've just had a mail out or getting a mail out now of month five. So at the end of March, that's right, out in the mail. Um, 
and at the time we had to stop because we were limited on the fabric. I'm just going to check you're not all talking to me. Hello Judith. Um, this, yeah, we had to just go stop. So that is why it is a unique club because it has a flat 50 girls in the club. Now you know how many are in it. There are 50. We do 50 every month. So, and that's a big task in itself, but we had to stop because I really, really am very particular about the fabric that you get in your kit being exactly the same and if it's not available anymore I should put that disclosure in we get the absolute closest we can so a lot of work was done after that 50 started and we secured everything for them and got it all cut and put it away that we could then work towards sourcing more so we've reached the point where we can do that um, but this time round, you know with our gorgeous new whiz back and the whiz, whiz bang webman that's due to arrive any minute we um, can now offer it to you I'm doing it in three different ways and you can kind of mess with it a little bit as well so rather than a five page essay newsletter about the club I thought I'd just pop on this morning and tell you a bit about it so first of all wait I've got to stand back without tripping over a machine the quilt so be mindful that Michelle Hill made is I'm going, to, I'm going to call it at 60 inches. The pattern, it, it sort of comes up just a smidge bigger, smidge being a very technical dimensional term, maybe about 61, 62, but its final dimensions, of course, are going to be based on how you quilt it. And for those of you that do love a quilt as you go, there is no reason why you cannot quilt as you go this. And I just want to put that straight up there because as you know, it's very, very public knowledge now. I'm going to make it this year as well. And I have a deadline of finished the 4th of January because that's Steve's 21st and this is what he wants for his 21st. Now, if you do the maths on that, I've actually got to stay well ahead of you, but I will. I will, I will. So, not like the applique sampler, I will. This I will because the patterns and everything are all done. It's, it's just open up the pack and off we go. So all of these are individual blocks on your black so, or on whichever background colour you choose. There is no mathematical reason why you can't come through and just pop a little half inch sashing piecing together for quilt as you go. And there's no reason why you couldn't just put these two seams together as quilt as you go uh, and then cover that at the back, however you wish to do it. I'm, I really, really want to do it as I go. I don't want to get to the 2nd of January and, and have to quilt it all overnight. I just don't want to do that. I would love to be able to do them. And I think I'll do a nicer job if I do them as I go. But that's, that's just me. So for me, I will probably do the blocks. I'm going to pop. Um, this is quite thin. Probably wool batting on the back. Maybe just a, a scrap of a, a solid something left over to put on the back and I'll quilt them individually then I will come through and I will paste them together I appreciate it's going to be a little bit chunky but I'm going to make the most of that because when I put um, maybe a full backing on or a sashing on the back I'll come back and stitch in the ditch so this little seam here will actually pop up a bit like a little raised border sashing between the blocks that is my thought at the moment it doesn't matter at this stage we've just got to get the quilt started so you've got 12 months and you've got 13 blocks and or 13 blocks if you do it as a block of the month okay so that includes all of the border as well um, all of the instructions for assembly as Michelle has done it there's a lot of suggestions from her in there as well so this is what I'm going to make some of you are already on that journey and then a lot of you have decided to come with me now. I did not put a disclaimer, did I, on the newsletter about when sold out. Um, but yeah, that this morning, that extra hour. What? Christine's been up sewing since 4.30. Goodness me. And hello, Suzanne and Avonlea. And hello, you're on, I know Fiona, you're on retreat. Good morning, sweetie Jenny Miller. You are, are nearly finished. I keep saying that, but you are. You're in my little pile on the side of the office table. Um, so how do we do it this time round? Well, you can do what the girls are doing now. 
So you can do it as a traditional block of the month. So it's $27.50 a month for 12 months. And what the $27.50 includes is all of your patterns and all of your applique fabrics. And I am popping in a little extra thing for you. I'm popping in a sheet of graphite paper or our transfer paper. You might already have some, but I'm popping one in with your first mail out because one piece I think will be enough to do pretty much the whole quilt and that transfer paper is what you will use to transfer the design onto your background. So it's just like using carbon paper so you put your background down, that on the top, chalk side down, pattern over the top, draw over it with a pen and it will transfer the design onto your background. If you're using a dark background but also if any of your darker fabrics that are in the applique you can use it for that. So if you do it block of the month, the first month well, I haven't got month one here. I had to be very, very careful because I have a little spare pile um, that we always did one each of them. But along the way, if someone has lost their block, yeah, it happens. If one's gone astray in the mail, all those sorts of things, we have a little stash. But these are my spares, but I'm very conscious I need to be careful I put them back exactly where I got them. So I just want to show you these. So this is what a block of the month pack looks like. So you've got full pattern. I'll show you the patterns in a minute. And you've got all the fabrics, all the little pieces that you need for that front. So you can see here, here's your yellow. That's the center of your flowers. You've got your blue for your flowers. You've got your bright red for these ones. The B fabric is not in here. The B fabric comes separately in one big chunk in one of the months uh, as deemed by Michelle. I love the wattle block. I absolutely love it. Uh, and this is the one, you know, when we've been talking about using the double sided blanket stitch on your machine or by hand, and it makes all of the, the wattle look spiky and fluffy. So this is what they look like. Also in the first month, you get a really nice, you know, full size picture of the quilt, a startup letter to get you going. All those things come in the first month. The breakdown of the cost and I like to explain this to people so you know that you're getting your money's worth out of our block of the months. The breakdown of the cost of your $27.50. Michelle's patterns are uh, $15 each. That's the price that she set and that's the agreement that we have with her because from that, that allows for the cost of the printing and also remember, you know, everyone that we sell, there is money going to the foundation that she supports to get these bees and everything on Kangaroo Island and other places in Australia now back on track after the bushfires, devastating bushfires in the last couple of years. So there's a donation element that goes into these patterns as well. So there's 15 for that, plus you've got $3.30 for your postage each month to send it out to you. And then the rest of it is taken up by us in terms of the fabric that's in your pack and our time and the packaging and everything to get that in the mail and out to you. So that's that's where all your dosh is going into there. Some months you will look at it and go, oh, that ain't worth about $7. Other months you will have $12 or $15. It all evens out over the, the whole 12 months. Um, so that is the block of the month. Now, a lot of you have signed up for the, that already. It is a fantastic way to make the quilt because it keeps you disciplined. And as each one arrives, so you're like I'm getting bossy now. As each one arrives, you go, okay, it's time. And then you spend that month drawing it up, cutting out your bits, sticking them on. And if you are, of course, doing it by hand where you've got a good amount of time each month to sit down and hand blanket stitch them. If you're doing it by machine, you're going to set aside that time to sit and applique it by machine. I'm doing mine by machine. And that is a time thing for me. Um, also, I've got beautiful machines and I've got my embroidery thread. So that's my that's what I'm going to do. Uh, it's also going to a boy. So it needs to be a bit more, might need to be a bit more durable. Oh, yeah, Jude, I reckon, I re definitely reckon we can do it block of your month. And I, uh, I actually think it's going to be, we, you don't have to think about it beforehand, really. I, I think I can do it without even having to change dimensions or anything if I keep those, um, sashing pieces really nice and super small in the same color though so it all it all blends and we get the same effect 
Okay, I'll just show you, and I just want to show you what the patterns look like. There's a little story behind the patterns. When we first got the original set to have a look at uh, from Michelle, they were Michelle's, and Michelle, in her beautiful, quirky way, all of the diagrams were hand-drawn, there was little bits and bob notes everywhere on them. They were very personalised. But for us moving forward, it didn't work for us because of what I want to do with the online one this time. And we just decided, you know, for her and for us, it was worth investing in getting cast to digitize them all as well. So this is what they look like. So you've got your color photo on the front, as I said before. I do like these flowers. You can tell it's a favorite block because I keep pulling it out. Uh, so you've got full instructions here, little notes from Michelle. Uh, along the way about applique method for the blocks. In each of them as well, there is guidelines on what size stitches Michelle has used for the blanket stitch or any other stitches on her machine because hers is machine applique. And I've already been kind of implementing her advice on machine stitch sizes and things uh, for other things I'll show you in a minute. They're just in here, it tells you all about the stitch length little diagrams where you need it and then you get up to your big guys. So all of your patterns come single sided. I haven't been, I'm not going to be mean on you and make you copy them out. So you'll always get your diagrams at the back and they single sided. So you can take them out and put them into a folder and look after them. But also you'll be able to take these straight out if you want to stick them together. What does this one say? There are small and medium sized bees. The choice is yours, including placement throughout the quilt. Oh yeah, more bees. I think more bees. So you just be able to stick them together. Um, it's all labelled. Little little extra tips and things for embellishment on there. So you know, so much work. So much work's gone into it by Michelle uh, and Kath to get the patterns all ready. So that's it's nice. It's nice to get them done again. And off we go. Okay. So that's what they look like there. If you decide you're impatient. You do not like waiting and being regimented and told which block you're going to get which month. Then you probably need a kit. Uh, thanks, Jill. <laughs> Good morning, Francis. Good morning, Fiona. <laughs> I'll let you know which one it is later, Jill. Um, just on the slide. All right. Um, so what do you get if you get the kit? Heaps, heaps and heaps. And yeah, I'm not very good at rules, nor receiving block of the months. I'm not, and I admit that. I like to be able to go, hmm, I feel like a bit of wattle today, or I'm in the mood for a blue wren, or we had mushroom risotto for dinner last night that Rob cooked that was absolutely magnificent. So if I was about to embark on a new block today, heads up, I'd probably just unconsciously head towards the mushroom toast to a block. Um, Ginny, <laughs> heaven knows from where, probably out in the wetland, very delicately and carefully brought us in a frog the other night, which ended up under the writing desk. So at 10 o'clock at night, we're moving furniture and saved the poor little man. She never kills them. She just brings them in to show us. And he got put back out in the fernery. Frogs would have been with that. So um, I think I like the idea of being able to do them when I want to. If you are like that as well, or perhaps you're going away, maybe you're going away in the caravan for six months, you're not going to be here to get your block of the month, the kit's going to be the best thing for you. With the kit does come a substantial saving. So if you look at all the work that we put into cutting all the individual uh, block of the months out and packing them all off in little bits and as you need them and everything and the postage then you will actually see that there is quite a bit of saving for us in terms of time and, and postage and packaging and everything for you and that we can transfer to you. So to do it as a block of the month uh, or compared to the kit, you're actually up for, I think it's about $55 saving across the 12 months if you do it as a kit. All right, so it's quite, it's quite a lot. And we are a little bit more generous in the way that we cut the kits again because it's a, it's a speed cut for us. We're not standing and carefully cutting little dimensional pieces as directed by Michelle. We go, yeah, we can add all that up and it adds up to a 25 centimeter cut or a fat eighth. And then you will get a key with your kit that will tell you which fabrics to use 
or which fabrics we suggest you use in each block. If you've got the whole thing together, you've got a lot of freedom and you can make up your mind. So if you have a look, what's a good example? This green here is slightly different. I don't know if you can see it to the green that sat on the outer border. If they've roughly got the same amount of fabric, you can switch them if you prefer. Or if you do all of these first and get them done um, and you go, yeah, I don't need it anywhere else then you could actually come through and use two different greens in here. So you've got a little bit of flexibility that way. Now I want to show you what's in my, it's my kit, Steve's kit, because I did go through this morning and I, that was my hour, actually it took longer than an hour, I cut the first what I call days of orders for the full kits. So I'm not mucking around. They are cut patterns will be printed tomorrow so if you've already ordered the kit or you do this week we did put in the newsletter they'll be sent out by the 30th of April but I can see now that I'm going to be able to get a lot of them out sooner so stay tuned because you will get a phone call from me or an email just to ask if you need anything else um, or if you want to get your background from us as we put in the newsletter so do you want to have a look at what's in your kit this is all the fabric so if you bundle it all up Add a little bit of a generous, you know, thing. Who says what we're listening whilst cleaning our... Uh, Jeanette's cleaning the caravan. Aren't you? You're out somewhere, aren't you? Mandy, are you new? Mandy, have you been here before and I've missed you? Welcome. I don't know that you have. I always like to check. Hello, Sue Bell. Morning, Deb. Team's in. Can I just say I had a really fun day yesterday. I'm going to say this now because it's all going to get very politically incorrect soon. So I am no longer officially, officially a Bonina dealer. We all knew it was coming. So um, my last machine is being delivered tomorrow morning to Diane's, which is very exciting. And then, check all this fabric out. Uh, and then I'm out Sprout for a while. I had my first day of sewing yesterday without being a dealer. And you know what? There's no fear of failure anymore because always when you're a dealer, you think I should be able to do this. I should know this. <gasps> there was a mindset change and it has happened quicker than I thought. So you'll probably get me banging on more about bananas now and what they can do than when I was a dealer. It's quite funny. I had a lovely day. I was very inspired. Of course, it was my like little practice run before starting this quilt, doing machine applique and, um, and, and playing with those pansies before I do my demo film for my Quiltus Life girls, probably this afternoon, because uh, I needed to get the whole road done. And I've been hanging out with Eileen Campbell and Maria Waters with machines. So, oh, it was all, I had a day. It was quite, well, an afternoon, not a whole day. Look at that. That is everything you get in fabric in your kit. So you have to remember you've got 12 times 15 for Michelle's pattern. So you're up to 180 in the pattern set. Then we add this. So that is another $95. This, I haven't added up what all this comes to, but there is a truckload of fabric here. So you, and it's all, it's all proportional to what you need. So, um, you know what, I'll tell you what I'll do. Let's do this sort of stuff just for fun, just to give you an example. So these are my two blues. So this is my blue for here. And this is my blue for here. So they're in. I'm going to trash it all now. I keep calling it my quilt. Can I call it? I can call it my quilt while I'm making it, can't I? And then it's just, it's not Steve's until his birthday, yeah? I think so. There's my hot pink. And there's my pale pink that goes up there. I haven't, I haven't instilled any real poetic license in terms of colors and changing them or anything I have kept them as close as I can when you get your pattern pieces through or you see the photos or anything if you think that's what Lisa's given me is different to the photo please note the photos that we got from Michelle are not all true to color uh, I redid some of them that were way out but most of them aren't and the one thing that it's still freaking us out is we cannot get the color of the background that she has used to show up to its true color on the camera on what you're looking at now what you're looking at this is blue and I can show you the batch of the blue black here on the bolt 
it's something to do between vertical horizontal oh, we just, oh, because it's quilted light refraction I've never seen it before but um, I've got to change sides there there's my two from my pretty pretty irises what I when I look at this quilt I look at the whole thing but I also look at it what did Adam Adam said something one day in the UK on shopping channel on the shopping channel about my patterns and I can't I can't remember what it was but it was like whoa mate that is a line that is a line and a half and I think it was you are investing in investing in your future creativity or some amazing line that came out of his mouth and I'm going to say it about this quilt because it's not mine <laughs> because I look at this and I see the whole quilt and I think fantastic but then I also see other little elements and I'll hone back into my favorite block here. I see this and I can see it going onto a handbag. I can see that going onto a handbag flap. And I look at my wattle over here and I can see just maybe one sprig of that going up the side of a placemat or something. And I look at the stirt P and I'm going, yeah, that goes on a pocket. So I, I look at it as yes, I'm gonna make the whole quilt but I see elements that are in it that we could use for other things. The other thing that I think about is, does it always have to be applique? And this is where I'll get to talking about the online club in a minute. Yeah, it looks fantastic in applique, but it would also look gorgeous in stitchery. So if you are not an applique, but you wanted to run it in stitchery, you could, uh, you might want to shrink it. You could keep it this size, but you know, if you loved this, you could bring it down, just drop it down about 25% on the photocopier and, and then do it in backstitch and it would be stunning. It had come up about the same size as the ones I suppose on my um, Oriental Blue Work pattern. So just, because they're circular as well, remember. So you, just, you can break it all down. The bees, oh my goodness, don't talk to Emma about that. You can just shove bees anywhere according to her. On anything, anywhere, and anything you want to do, you can. So... You know if I bring this over bring this gum leaf tote over again I can just see being able to take that and put that in here just you know there's just so much stuff I wouldn't put the circle around I would take out the reeds and and I would take the little frog and I would sit him up in the corner and use it here these stylized waratahs are gorgeous as well so they could be used for anything and I would love one of those on on each end of a uh, table runner cut on point log cabin in the middle with the same batiks so it's not you know and don't even get me started on the flannel flowers and these designs out here the little fleur-de-lis ones so you can use it for lots and lots of different things so you know the whole set of patterns is going to give you the whole quilt and all of the fabric in the kit is going to give you the whole everything that you need for all of your applique but you're going to have little bits left over particularly with the kit and then you could come through and use them for other things. But there you go. I'll just give you one more look at that. All of that's in there. See all these, all of these subtle shades. They're just all very, very softly different. And they all have a purpose in the quilt. So some of them are used for the bee wings. Uh, some are used for the, can you see there? For the flannel flowers, but there's a slightly darker one in the middle. And in the reeds and in the flowers, down here on the top of the toadstools, You've got a little possum down here with his bushy tail and another one up here. So there are, when you get this kit through, we're actually going to put stickers on each of the fabric. And then as soon as you get it, I want you to get a folder and I want you to get the sleeves and I want you to put them all into their own separate sleeves. Same with your pattern. Your pattern, if you buy the kits, all going to come in its little um, box. So they're all nice and flat for you because the fabric's going to get a bit chunky. Out of there, straight into a folder, introduction, right through 1 to 12. So they're all separate fabrics in the back and then you'll be really organised and you're not going to lose anything and you're not going to nick bits. We all do it. Let's face it. We What colour is... Oh, the yellow's my bee wings, of course. Um, We all nick bits. Let's Let's be honest. I know you do. There's my posse. There's my posse. Posse up here. Oh, look. Oh, he's so cute. All right, and each one's got a little story about the different flowers and animals 
um, that have been used really nice set of greens just beautiful they're just all lovely all different slightly slightly different uh, and I'm going to leave those out because I want to talk to you about all right so you're good that is the kit um, if you've already ordered the kit I'm very happy to tell you oh someone said something I need to read they're already cut if you ordered before last night they're cut Christine says I can see bits in my lead lighting yes I bet you can um, Francis it is a very very good question Francis if you uh, if you haven't done applique before there are going to be lots and lots of demonstrations out there my online version of the club is going to come with a full set of videos I'll get to that in a tick and uh, if you're in a quilter's life what I am doing is a little demonstration uh, today or tomorrow and we'll go up tomorrow for the girls in that club that's also going to talk about this style of applique as well so I th there is really um, there's really only one main set of skills that are needed to do raw edge applique in in the way that Michelle's done it the rest of it's just going to come down to a lot of little tricks along the way in terms of stabilizer underneath I mean we've done a lot of that on Facebook live and we have done I'm pretty sure we did a fair bit on on my YouTube channel too I'm probably due to go back and do that I wouldn't actually stop now and do it for you because it's it's part of the it's, it's part of the value that the girls get with the club as well um, so we will come back and do some of that but at the moment I'm just kind of focused on getting the club out and for those that are doing the online club and who are in a quilter's life there will be there will be demos for you morning Steve Google Maps lied. what did Google Maps lie about darling are you late yeah, like 20, minutes. 20 minutes we're talking about you I agree, yeah. <laughs> and your quilt Oh, yes. And I have a deadline. The 14th of April? What? Oh, is that the same? No. <laughs> oh, 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 no. Of when I have to have mine made by. Oh, uh, I have set up. Sorry. I've set up. Um, <laughs> girls are here. We've been here a while. Hi, ladies. <laughs> uh, I've set up a folder yes. for, the, uh, for the Be Mindful Girls. You'll see out there. There's a red folder, big red folder. In the front of the folder is the cutting chart for the kits. Look, look, look. This is your kit. Oh, those are for the kits. Look at that. This is everything in your quilt. Look at that. Right? So I've done that. And Stevie, that's what I did with my extra hour. You may have slept through yours. I did. But I cut the first round of kits. <laughs> He's understated that's not the look I got. And, um, I haven't had a look. no, 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 I've cut the kits and one of them was yours so I could show the girls this morning. And then all the block of the month girls are inside the folder, ready to go. And someone signed up as I was going live. So there's another one to print out. Okay. And everyone else's stuff's there. Teresa's and everyone's there to go out. Right. I'm, Francis, I want to show you uh, something that's a little bit. <laughs> Good morning, Diane. I um, I want to show you something that I that I did yesterday, and this is this is what I'm going to go back and break down and do a little demo for the girls in a quilter's life. It's my row of pansies that we've talked about uh, a couple of times, and it was a little giveaway pattern. Whoop, I've got to go that way. A little giveaway pattern with a um, little dusky pink batik pack a couple of weeks ago. So I've actually got mine together, and it's also a pattern on a quilter's life. So I'm just, I'm just in the process of getting the rest together to do my little demo. So this is the same technique as what's been used on this quilt. So it's raw edge done with made with batiks. Uh, and I have done get you really nice and close. Just fold it over and see how close I can get that for you. It is little, little blanket stitch. So you can do that on the machine or you can do it with one strand. 
of embroidery thread if you wish if you've got the time and you love doing hand blanket stitch that would be the go this is at where did I get to I started with I started with Michelle's measurement that she was using for a lot of these which are very very teeny weeny a lot of them and I think I ended up at about two by two mil on my sewing machine I took it up a little bit from where I started and then the bit in the middle I did with satin stitch so I've got to go through all of that so it's that that technique but I'm pretty I'm pretty chuffed with them and I do like them on that gorgeous Michael Miller fabric we've got that's called um was it perfume labels wasn't it so I love it on that and the other thing I did with the girls the other day on A Quilter's Life, we did making up book covers and that's got the smaller version and that's on the French linen. For my mate whose birthday party we were supposed to be at yesterday. And guess what she got for her birthday. So I'm hoping she's feeling better. And we've just postponed that like so many other things get postponed at the moment, don't they? I'll pop that over there. All right. Then the final... The final version of the club to get your pattern is to get just get your patterns. We're not doing them as a set in the mail though. To me, I wanted to make it value added. So with the block of the month, there's the value out of it coming, you know, once a month and the cutting and everything we do. The kit itself is value added because you get a, you know, it's, it's proportionally less and you get a bit more fabric and it's all in one go. I didn't want to just shove the patterns in the mail. I wanted to also do another club where you'd get better value for your for your money so because we have a podia site which is podia.com and you'll see the link in our newsletter you can also click there's a banner steve's got the be mindful banner up the top on the website today you can click on that and it'll give you all the different club versions um, there is one there that you click for the online or the internet or the digital whatever you want to call it club and it says click here to go to podia podia is our online website where we do a quilter's life but also where we've set up the club so what happens is on the 20th of each, each month you will get an email letting you know that the next installment or the next pattern has been uploaded into your online club and you'll be able to go in see it and you'll be able to click on it and you'll be able to print it out yourself so that way you're not paying for postage or anything else you just click it out and print it out first thing i'm going to say don't print it in color i know you know when we send them out they're all lovely and glossy and everything but if you want to save yourself some money if you don't really need to have it in color just print out the pages that you need which will be your diagrams uh, in the black and white because you can always go back and have a look at it online for a fair sorry for a fair long time without um having to use up all the ink on your printer so you will get this but you will get it to print out yourself at home that means you're going to be into it quicker than those that are getting in the mail just saying but it also gives you some freedom freedom to reduce it in size if you want to uh, take it to office works whatever and make it bigger You'll be able to print it multiple times. So if you misplace it and you don't put it back in your folder, you can just go and print out another copy. But it also means, of course, if you've got a massive stash, a massive stash or a big stash of beautiful batiks uh, or anything else that you want to use for raw edge applique, you can use your own fabric. And that's probably the beauty of that. Then for those that haven't done a lot of applique and feel they would really like to have their hand held, this club also online comes with a video with me so you will have each month the pattern come through to print out and then you'll be able to click on a video demo of me making each of these blocks as I make it for Steve's quilt so we will start with we will start with number one but literally going through how to cut out all the pieces if you need to reverse the pattern or not how to apply them onto your background fabric stitching it out on the machine and just talking through all the different options that you've got and I'm sure what will happen as we go there'll be all those other things that I talked about where else can we use our stirt P I'm leaving mine flat for Steve but what happens if you would actually like to do it uh, and make all of the petals on your stirt P a little bit 3D as well option you know getting down and doing little eyes and little details and things like that 
this is what the club will actually give you if you do it online. I actually was cheeky enough to put on the newsletter the money that you, and it's $15 a month to do it online. So it's the same price for you to then print out instead of having to pay for the postage, but you get the extra, the bonus of the demos as well. Um, I was cheeky enough to put online. If you buy the kit, you are saving a fair bit of dosh as well. You might like both. You know, you might like to have both at your hand. So you're going to get your full kit, but then you could also do it online and get the demos each month if you haven't done it before. That's entirely up to you, but that's another option for you. So I'm really looking forward to doing this. You know, these little flowers on here, I want to put them on pin cushions or I want to put them on the panels on my little Melba Christmas dishes or yeah, as I said, I want to put the frogs on different things. Oh, I'd love him on a pin cushion. He would be gorgeous on a pin cushion with some 3D flowers. So that's the other option for you is to do it 3D. Uh, sorry, to do it online. Of course, if you're overseas, uh, it's a great choice. It, but And also if you've got a big stash. Now, a lot of people have a stash and this is where it just, we got down to so many combinations and permutations of what we could offer. I stopped because you might have a great stash uh, of reds and yellows and pinks and everything, but you haven't got enough greens. If you join up for the podium, so you can always email me and say, Lisa, may I please have, um, what, I don't know, five 25 centimeter cuts of the greens or very similar to what you've got in the club packs. Um, Lisa, I, I've got everything I need, but I'm gonna need my B fabric so it looks like Michelle's. All of that is flexible. You just have to email through and we can have a look at it and, and get it done for you. All of our fabric for the club is all aligned, set up together, and I just know it's not going to be a big problem for us to do that for you. If you email and say, I need my B fabric, you're gonna get an invoice through from Steve for, I think it's 40 centimeters of a particular batik, done, dusted in the mail. So. We can do all of that. Same goes if you are going to need steamer seam, if you're going to need um, uh, chalk pens, if you're going to need, oh, you know what I would do, a really nice new small set of sharp scissors. Kai scissors would be my first purchase because you're going to be doing a little lot of cutting out. All that stuff, you just have to ask and we can organise it for you. Um, yes, Melissa, the sugar glider on a bag would be there's just you know when you just stand here and start looking you go oh there's just so much stuff that I would love to take out Michelle has put a little note um your your blue wren is going to look better than hers I just remember that I think she wasn't happy with the angle that it's on so it's been repositioned he's a little bit askew it isn't sitting right so that's been fixed up she says yours will look better um, but yes, sugar gliders, I mean, Rob's favourite bird's a blue wren. So I should do something for him. But yeah, there's just so much stuff. Even, 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 even. Grab the book cover pattern, digital download, or if you're in a quilter's life, it's already there. Take the book. Okay, let's take the book. I'll turn it upside down. Blue wren, bees, flowers, a little branch of these down here one look 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 one oh I haven't got it up the right way can you see down there no one of these guys up the other way landscape There's heaps of stuff on it love it okay so club kit online club and then the one element that's missing is your background so again Depending on where you are, you might have a great local shop. Uh, you'll get your kit for all your applique and your patterns. And uh, you can walk in there, support your local shop, have a look around, grab yourself some background fabric. You might have what you need in your stash. Heaven forbid. You might, uh, but I need you to have 3.2 metres of background to go with it. Um, you might decide that you've got all, of, you know, you might have, a bundle of magnificent all different shades of cream fabrics or batiks um, that you can use. You might be in that mood that it's a use up here so you grab all of your leftover blacks and greys and piece them together and have a beautiful mosaic background behind all of your applique. 
all of the fabrics on this quilt really pop on a dark background so you would get away with that easy um, what we are doing for everyone that does sign up for the club we are contacting you by email or on the phone and just checking in with you to see if you would like to source your background from us because we could have just thrown out the kit with the dark but we do appreciate everyone loves something different and depending on where it's going to hang steve decided to go for the blue black which is great um, but i've got people doing on all different colors from the first round i'll show you some of the ones we've got some of them are limited um, we've only got one bolt so other ones we can we will order in as needed and i've checked everyone's got everything and the main one that we use is is also not is in no way a problem yet I think. What's Stevie, can I give you my dead coffee? Mm. Thank you. I'm worried I'm going to knock that narrow glass over. Okay, so this is, and this is really good because I've got all of the kit fabric sitting um, on the table. So I'll just lay that out. This is the way out one I'm showing you first funny that but this is a beautiful warm cream and it's got a little a latte coffee latte dot I love this fabric and the, the trick that we've got to get right is everything has to contrast against it okay so this is where the challenge comes in but all of these greens are going to pop so that just you know if you do that you start to get that oh yeah that works I think they look really good the yellow will be fine and you're looking at it going whoa but remember the yellow is just here just here and just here so it's not going to be in one big chunk it all gets dispersed down you know how that works all right let's have a look at our reds yum they all work really nicely yeah, they all look really good on there. I keep moving to the side because my screen angle. Look at that on that. And that. Yum. Probably one of the most important fabrics to have a look at is this one because that's the bee wings. And immediately you look at that and go, yeah, that's all good. Now, what happens with the bees along the way, though, is, and, and other things we get these light colors so what would happen if you go for the light background the same as anything else that we do if you go light what I'm going to suggest is you actually use this little caramelly colored dot in thread uh, for the blanket stitch around these and that will give them a really nice outline All right so so they will stand out small blanket stitch if you need any help with threads then give me a hoy as well but um, that will work and you know that's the price we pay for going to the lighter background these guys will all be fine these are all fine on here as well and this is the main one I want to show you because it's where you've really got to be sure about the contrast but it will work look at those on it there they are extra special on there and there is quite a lot of brown used for branches for your blue wrens and things on here so let's just have a look and that's all that that just sings that's all really really good okay so that is a light option now as I said you've got to be really careful you can't just say I'm going cream or I'm going brown because there's so many different colors in the fabric you've you've got to be you've got to find something that works so this one I stashed ages ago. If Therese Perry knows, I, I debated about this a little while ago and I went, nope, definitely. Now I've also got it in this beautiful, this beautiful thing. Gorgeous thing. If I hold that, yeah, you can see it there. There you go. Oh, nope. Sorry, girls. That one. Can you see that okay? So it's, it's, oh, tealy blue black and it's got this little periwinkly blue dot over the top and I think that just screams midnight in the bush to me so yes 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 Steve are you sure you don't want the dots
No, you want this one, don't you? Yeah, okay. Just checking. It's all good. I think you're the blue. I do. That's the same as that one, isn't it? Roughly, yeah. Yeah, because they remember each batch changes, so it's a little bit. They particularly look really good on this. See this one? I think someone will like that. You know, everyone's different. Everyone's different. But I do. This is like bush, speckled bush, nighttime. Look how different. Oh, I mean, they've got like 10 months no, to decide. No, 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 you don't. <laughs> You have two days to decide. I'm going to film the first demo for the Podia Club girls. We start. I make it with oh, them. Are you doing it block by block? Block by block with the Podia girls online. So no, it's on. Look how different it looks when I hold it up like that compared to holding it. They do my head in these petites. Okay, then we've got this one. So this one is a Hoffman Batik and it's it's called, oh it's so original, it's called Black. And that's it. So um, this one is, oh, it's just, it's, I feel like I just want to do that. That is the best way for you to see it. It is black with the palest inkling of a dark teal green, just a smidge, just in a little, little indication of it. So it is, it is pretty much black, but it's got a little bit of a marble through it and you, you want that movement because the blocks are so big. So that's black. Again, we will talk. Um, with the ones we haven't got a lot of, you know, I'm, I'm more than happy to send people swatches out. That's perfectly fine. I can do all of that. We can talk on the phone. Probably the ones that we don't have much of, you know, I can send the samples, but it might be gone by the time it gets there. But this is, and this is the weird thing, this is close to this, but the way that it, I don't understand. But this is the one that uh, Michelle recommends for the quilt, and it is full-on Aussie blue-black. Uh, and this is the one that Steve's going to have his on and that I'm making. And I'm not a blue girl, but I love this. When you get the photo of the quilt, or when you saw it in the newsletter, it looks slightly overexposed. It's because they were doing their heads in, and so have I, trying to get the blue in this to show up on a lens. Got in enough. So this one, I'll just lay this out and show you as well, because, yeah, Steve, this is very you. This is you. I love this. And I think I love it. Oh because it makes all of the colors, quite rightly, because Michelle chose it, to really, really pop. And I'm not a, an Aussie, I'm not a dark blue usual girl, but something just says yes about using this beautiful blue for an Australian quilt. See the look. <gasps> Sorry, it's having my color therapy for the morning everything just pops on this even because we've got a little black in the quilt we've got a little a little black wing cockatoo the black will contrast and they all look scrummy yep good choice steve look at them on it oh i'm a bit excited i'm very excited after doing that applique yesterday I'm a little bit like a little kid. I need to, I need to pop into um, Eileen's, uh, Maria's tomorrow, and I sort of want to take my pansies and go, look what I did. Is it okay? Is it okay? Might do that. All right. So that is the blue, and then there is another one here that is a grey. Um, it's called Black Light. So it is actually a beautiful grey moss green. Now, so if you're not full dark black and you don't want to go blue and you're not into spots, this is beautiful. I, I have enough for at least one. I will be able to source more. Uh, I just have to do that tomorrow. 
because I really wanted to offer that one. See, you can see looking at the quilt behind me and I'll hold it up against the, the black batik. See what I mean? It's just that little bit lighter, a little, little bit of a grey moss through it. It's beautiful. I do like, I do like that. If I didn't, uh, I didn't have Steve to make it for, and it, I hadn't been made to really, you know, have a really good look at the blue, this is the one that I'd be using the black light. Anyway, if you're doing the block of the month, if you're doing the kit, get in or if you're doing Codia, uh, if you're doing it online and you want to get in touch and, and order some background to get you started with your stash, just email me black, grey, um, dark dot, light dot or blue and we can always clarify that when I speak to you. So you need 3.2 meters. Steve what what's the deal? Can you just have we still got it online? Thank you. We did a good price for the girls didn't we? I'm sure we did last time. We'll just take that for you. Now these ones that I've got up here I did it one of the reasons was to fill the bottom of the stand but the other reason that I did it these are um, the, batik, the Hoffman standard 1890 batiks, 1895 batiks that we stock that are what I call multicolored. So if you, if you've got, 3.2 for $70. Ooh, oh, that's all right. So that's for the AU Yes, oh, you will do it for all those. That's fine. So what is it? It's, um, 3.2. So it's 3.2 meters for $70. I think mean, that's all right. And then plus postage. Yeah, plus postage. Uh, if, oh. The girls in the the girls doing the kit yep. will be able to send it out. We'll we'll do we'll we'll do something and combine them all in the one package. We'll work that out. Alright, now these I just wanted to show you. If you've got a good stash and you're going to do it online with me, then what you might want to do is you might just want to top up. You might need to top up. So I pulled out the multicolored ones to show you because these are going to give you the opportunity to fussy cut um, and they're a great addition to your stash. Now we sell these in the half meter pieces. Again, I understand if you're going to use them to do the applique, you're not gonna need that much and you're going to email me and I'm gonna fix that up for you, all right? Um, because We'll just do a little pack for you or something. I want you, if you're going to do it online, I want you just to grab what you, just what you need to top up. This is a beautiful one. So this one's called um, Amethyst and you can see I've got both lilac and lavender in here. So this you could break down and use here. And then, you know, free poetic license you might come over and pop a couple of extra little flowers you might change these over to purple you can mess around and use it somewhere else in the quilt because you're you know you're doing it with your own fabric so this one's really nice to you so if you pop the word uh, amethyst a-m-e-t-h-y-s-t into the search window on our website that will come up or you can troll through all of the Hoffman boutiques but that one's a good one stay there I've got another one this one, I love the name of this one. This is shrimp. So again, this is a beautiful multicolored and you can see it's got little splashes of purple. It's got darker pink bits. It's got lighter pink bits. This one also would be really nice to use in the quilt. So again, I could use them here. I could use them up here in the paler ones and I could come through and fussy cut the darker bits of the pink for the little bits on my Grevilleas if I wanted to. So that's another one that um, is a nice one to have in this. I just love it. It's a riot. Um, this is this one. So that was shrimp. Now, leaf is not multicolored. However, leaf is the one that we are using for all of the green, the light green around the border of the quilt. You could, you could also use it for the greens that are um, dispersed throughout in which case you probably would grab half a meter so you could use it for these up here and then you could use it for here and here and here as well so you know there's a lot you could just do it with one you don't have to do it all the multicolored one can you you can't see my eyeshadow I went green I couldn't help myself 
this morning. So that is leaf. So again, put in leaf and maybe hashtag 178 or just email me. But that would be a really good addition to, um, to your stash. And then this is poppy. So you get where I'm going with this now. You could come through and pull out some of these little orange areas here for some of the flowers and then you go right down into a full orange down there. Now, in the quilt, there is not, hello Jinjin, there is not that much um, orange and there's a little bit of yellow, but I really, I really do think these here, in here, you could use it your frog could change color um you anywhere anywhere but it's a really really bright gorgeous multicolored thing steve um jenny caught one of those moon moths I, I, that's what dad says they're called um i was horrified and fascinated at the same time and i got the ruler down it was the body on it was three inches long it's massive this morning it's in her tummy. <laughs> but I'm just looking at the bees and then I'm thinking about the moth at the same time. This one is, uh, oh, <laughs> this one's called frog. Funny that. All right, so this is another green. I love this green. Uh, it does appear, I think it is going in the quilt kit. I think it's over there, yes. Uh, oh, really? So I think it's going in the quilt kit. So um, again, it's Ginny. Ginny, you're in shot. We'll just, you know what? It's easier just to change the camera than change the cat. Um, it's got beautiful. Can you see that? All right, there you go. Oh, Rob's done. Rob's done some bright and bright. Isn't he? Beautiful light sections that you can use, and then you come down into this really nice JB green as well. So she's gone now. There you go. So that one's really nice as well. So that one's frog. So I just I just wanted to show you there are some options there for you. Of course, if you decide to go satin stitch, Eileen Campbell style, with your applique, you've got a little bit more flexibility with the fabrics that you use to still get a really nice neat finish. Uh, you could go go into the ombre section and buy a heap of ombres in greens and pinks and purples and reds because then you've got multicolors through the whole piece so they would be absolutely gorgeous as well where are you going okay now backgrounds just one more thing before we before we chuff off um is oh i've lost you where'd you all go there you are hello ruth we're an hour closer together now in wa uh some people have been really really keen or interested in running a pale green background now I did a couple I can't remember it was last round for be mindful it was for the applique sampler actually but there is a beautiful you've really got to go looking to get it right there is a one or two stunning Robert Kaufman uh, batiks I'm going to get them in and I'm just wondering I think I'm just trying to get the I think I can get them here for you, okay, with the camera. So if I hold this up, this is my gorgeous big card. See this color up here? It's seagrass. It's the softest yellowy, minty green. Maybe if I turn it around that way, upside down. There you go. So this one here, I'm going to get that in. This is too dark against all the other greens. There's nothing else in the greens. Now, in the other way, there is, it sounds weird and wonderful, but this here is seaside. Seaside's going to give you a tealy, uh, a tealy minty blue green color, and that will contrast against everything as well. So I'm going to get those in. And the other thing I wanted to get, because it has to contrast against our possum fabric. Ginny, get out of your grandmother's cupboard. Oh, I just can't. Here we go. Thank you. So we've got this in for our possums, yeah? So we've got to make sure 
that we go lighter so I love this one this is frost and there's also fog and fog contrasts against everything as well so I'm going to get from our supplier early this week those in and there'll just be some other options for people that perhaps would like to go with a light background so it's all go it's all go now is that enough to think about I hope so <laughs> that's enough um, please just send through any questions that you've got uh, we're around now for the next couple of hours so email it through we'll be able to answer you we'll be here filling orders and things and getting stuff out the door um, from orders over the last couple of days and planning for the week ahead we've got hey steve-o did these new ones go up did you that you took the thing home for no but i'm 1700 words into a uni assignment how many words into a uni assignment 1000 i never we used to count yeah. in the olden days so th these What's the minimum? Oh, you're only halfway. When? <laughs> so I'll be putting these up then. <laughs> um, all right, stay tuned. These will go up before Tuesday. I'll just give you one little sneak. This is what's sitting on the floor, waiting to go up online. <gasps> all right. If you love a paisley and it's got black in the background um, so these will be going up so just at the bottom of our website there is a little spot yeah that has recently added and it's worth every now and then just popping in and having a look so we will try and get these all up today just so you know that they're there but yeah keep an eye on that section down the bottom and um I'm not going to keep going because they're all on the floor and they're not on the website yet. Thank you very much for joining me this morning. I hope you have a fabulous afternoon and thank you for indulging, indulging me in an hour-long advertorial with no demos. How embarrassing. But Emma and I will make up for that on Tuesday. Uh, a Quilters Life Girls, you will have your demo on your pansies tomorrow. I think I'm going to go off and make them in all of those tealy purples on black for the demo. I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, um, yes, and so if you'd like to join up, please do. As I said, we haven't capped it yet, but I'm keeping a constant eye on it. That's the panic section of the advertorial. Uh, no, really, I am keeping a really close eye on it. Um, because we do want to keep the colors true and I do not want to get to the point where you're saying why have I got this color and I say because I couldn't get the real one so if you'd like to join up please do you've got till the 14th and then clubs will first be posted out on the 20th whether it be the one that we pop in the mail or the first one on to the be mindful club online on Podia all right and kits will go out as soon as they're ready uh, and as soon as we've spoken to um, our kit customers about their background if they'd like some all right you have a fabulous Sunday and I'll see you on Tuesday afternoon at two o'clock with Emma all right bye thank you